Good morning, everyone. So yes, indeed, my name is Stormy Sylvester Andrews. And some of you may have just realized something I've had to live with my entire life. And that's the fact that my initials are ass backwards. <laughs> now, I really don't know if that makes me a Republican or a Democrat. But we're not here to talk about my name. We're here to talk about your website. By a show of hands, who here has a website? Well, then pay attention because I've got some news to share with you. You see, I'm in a unique position where I meet with hundreds of business owners annually. And oftentimes they share with me the frustrations that they're having online. And when I sit with these business owners, it usually goes something like this. Stormy, I need more traffic to my website. Can you relate? Or, Stormy, can you get me more leads? But really, what I explain to them is that traffic or leads don't pay the bills. Really, I think what you want are more sales. Is that really what it comes down to? But it's an interesting dynamic. You see, in order to get more customers from your website, you got to have more leads. In order to get more leads, you got to have more traffic. And in order to get customers, you need that traffic coming to your website. Make sense? Are you with me? So I've come to the conclusion that oftentimes when I meet with these business owners, they either fall into one or two camps when it comes to their online marketing. And let me know if you can relate to this because they're either in the camp of being lost or very lost. Can you relate? It's one of the two. And the reason for that is because it goes something like this. You see, when I meet with these business owners, it's a shame because they're throwing money down the drain. And the reason that I come to the conclusion that oftentimes they're throwing money down the drain is because there's no understanding of what that money is doing for them. They don't know what their ROI is. They have just been told to put money towards internet marketing, put money towards SEO or social media, and eventually it will come. But that's a mistake. They have to use some strategic thinking. If there's one thing you take away from this presentation is take away this, this next scenario. Here's the way internet marketing should work. If you have a dollar in your pocket, do me a favor, hold it up in the air. Oh, we've got a volunteer, how about that? So let me ask you a question, Jason. If I were to come to you right now and say, Jason, listen, you've got a dollar. I'm willing to trade you one dollar for that dollar. Would you do that trade? No. It makes no sense, does it? It's just a waste of energy and effort. What if I make the pot a little sweeter? Jason, I'm willing to trade you $2 for that dollar. Would you do that? Maybe? OK, you know what? What if we do $3? Would you take $3 for that dollar? Let's do that. You see, that's the way internet marketing should work. If you put a dollar to it, you should get a few dollars back. Does that make sense? And you should understand that for every dollar you put towards it, there should be some understanding of what your return on investment should be. If it's anything other than that, I'm sorry to say that you fall in that camp of being lost. And oftentimes it happens when I meet with these business owners, there's a common thread. You see, they're employing tactics instead of strategy and how. You know, one of the best definitions I heard when it comes to strategy comes from Sun Tzu, from the book, The Art of War. And it applies so perfectly to this. You see, it goes something like this. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. But on the other hand, tactics without strategy is simply the noise before defeat. So think about that just for just a second. If, you're imply, if you are applying tactics to your online marketing, it's simply the noise before defeat. Let me share with you a couple of people that we've helped produce strategies for. Let me introduce you to Michael. Michael owns a body shop here in Las Vegas. His company, Nula Collision, came to us several years ago. As a matter of fact, he came to us back in 2010. And he says, Stormy, I've got a problem. I listed some of the problems that he has, or the problems that he had, I guess I should say. He mentioned that I have a stagnant website that's not gener generating any leads. For those of you that raised your hand, can you relate to that? He mentioned that he's too dependent on insurance companies for referrals. Who wants to be in that business where you're dependent on a third party? He was getting very little traffic to the site, and he wants to grow from $4.5 million in sales to $9 million in five years. I'm like, Michael, it took you 10 years to get here to $4.5 million. Now you're going to double in the next five years? We had our, we had our, work, out, we had our work 
um, in store for us. So here was the strategy. First thing we had to do is set Michael up to be the collision authority here in Las Vegas for high-end late model cars. You see, one of the things that we determined is that it costs a whole lot more to fix a high-end late model car than it does to fix a low-end, very old car. Can you relate? That was part of a strategy. It wasn't done by accident. It was part of a strategy. The other thing we looked at is we needed to attract owners of premium brands because those were more profitable for his business. We needed a system in place to get more leads that will eventually turn into customers, which we did by creating an online estimator and develop a customer retention and review process. So what happened? Well, I asked a question. What happened? Anybody? You know, I'm going to back up for just a moment. You see where I come from. Normally when someone says, what happens? The audience is supposed to say, what happens? Let's try it again. Guess what happened? What happened? Well, in 2015, Michael's company was named to the Inc. 5000 as one of the fastest growing companies in the U.S. As a matter of fact, he received a letter from Governor Brian Sandoval stating that he had the seventh fastest biz growing business in the state of Nevada. We had a goal to get to $9 million. We actually got to $10 million. This year, he's approaching $20 million. Talk about growth. As a matter of fact, I got a phone call this weekend while I was in California that he's opening his fourth shop next week which is pretty awesome. He actually had to open a third shop next to one of his shops simply because he had no room to store the cars. That's a pro nice problem to have, wouldn't you say? Let me give you another scenario. Let me introduce you to Bruce. Bruce is a family law attorney, also once again right here in Las Vegas. Bruce had a problem. Bruce's problem was his website was not being found online. That's a problem if you're looking to get customers from online. Zero leads from his website. The only leads he was getting were self-generated from attending networking groups. He was tired of the feast or famine business model. Can you relate? Needs a new reliable source of leads. The strategy, identify ideal clients and create laser-focused messaging. Seek out the opportunities where big dollar attorneys weren't playing. You see, in his particular business, there was a lot of attorneys, and there's still a lot of attorneys that have these huge budgets that he just couldn't compete. So we had to find an arena that he could have competed. And that's important. That can apply to many of you in your business. Optimize his website for this low-hanging fruit and develop a system to generate consistent lead flow. So guess what happened? What happened? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Well, last year, over the previous year, his goal completions increased 281%. His phone calls increased 426%. He's now getting 30 leads per month. Not too shabby for a family law attorney. Not working on a big budget. Let me just introduce you to one other person. I'll introduce you to Mackenzie. Mackenzie's a photographer here in Las Vegas. When Mackenzie approached us, she also had a problem that her website wasn't generating enough leads. She was only getting one to two leads per week. She was scammed by previous SEO companies, making lots of promises that they couldn't deliver and wants to do photography and not look for customers. So we needed a strategy for her. And her strategy was clarify her website messaging to target her intended audience. Eliminate the competition by getting to customers before the competition can get to them with awareness stage offers. Coach the client on her some of the missing opportunities and improve the website visibility and conversion rate. Guess what happened? what happened? I got fired. <laughs> this is one of those cases when you jo do the job too well. You see, McKenzie couldn't handle the business. She started getting 84 leads per month. She was like, stop, this is too much. I don't have the infrastructure to handle the amount of leads that are coming in. Her business grew by 158 uh, 158 percent and getting seven times the leads flow or we got rid of the tactics that they were applying and we started using strategies you see oftentimes business owners can meet with us where they come to our conference room they meet with myself and my team of experts and we develop strategies for them when we're over the course of the next 30 to 60 days we're interviewing their employees their customers and we're doing lots of market research there's a lot of time and energy and effort to put these strategies together when we're done they typically have an investment of about five to $10,000 for their completed strategy. The problem is when we meet with a lot of small business owners, you know, these are organizations, five to $10,000 is, isn't a big investment. But if you're a small business owner, five, and, five to $10,000 
might as well be a million dollars. Can you relate? So when we meet with small, some of the small business owners and explain that that's the process, we have this type of scenario. Stormy, this is a great message that you're sharing with us, but I can't afford that. I'm out. And we felt that we had to change something. So today I'm going to tell you how you can work with us for under a couple hundred bucks. Where we can help you develop some strategies that can change your business. And it really comes down to this. If you have a pen and paper, write this down. Because if you're doing anything other than this when it comes to our online marketing, I suggest that you're probably uh, not getting the results that you should be getting. So when it comes to your strategy, we broke it down into six keys. Key number one, you have to have a strategy to generate the right message. And you got to get that message in front of the right person at the right time, every time. And there's a formula for doing this. Even if they're not ready to do business with you today. And that's where some of the greatest opportunities lie. Secondly, how do you attract more customers to your website? That's a completely different strategy. Now, that first strategy, that first key I just shared with you, that's the foundation. If that's not done right, everything else I'm sharing with you really serves no purpose. You see, you can get traffic to your website, but if you're getting the wrong traffic, who cares? Because they don't turn into customers. It's about getting the right message in front of the right person at the right time. And when that messaging is clear, there's a strategy to attract more visitors to your website. And then once we do that, key number three, how to convert more leads, how to convert more visitors into leads. There's a specific strategy that works for that. Process number four is how do I convert more of the leads that are visiting my website into customers? You have to have a strategy. Key number five, how do I delight more customers? How do I get my existing customers to give me more referrals? How do I get them to do repeat business with me? There's a specific strategy that should be executed for that. And number six is the one that we missed out when it came to McKinsey. When these are working on all cylinders, you got to be able to scale for growth. You see, when it comes to your online presence, here's really the process that I want you to think of. If your website currently looks like this, our goal when we're done is to get your website to look like this. Can you relate? That's what it's all about. So for those of you that want to take control, I mentioned that I have a, the, um, I was going to share a way that you can work with myself and my team for a pretty low investment. As a matter of fact, it's a ridiculously low investment. On July 26th, we're hosting an event at the Hampton Inn here in Las Vegas, Tropicana in the 15. This event is called Get More Customers Academy. It's an all day event. And during that event, we're going to work with you and the attendees of the event to understand the process and the six keys that I shared with you earlier. And here's basically what you can expect at the event for those of you that wish to attend. Our general admission, it's a full day event. It runs eight to five. We're gonna, you're going to learn the six keys and how to implement them in your business. We're going to give you a strategy workbook. We're going to include lunch. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to introduce you to some tools and resources that you can use and some bonus material. The other thing that I want to stress to you, at the bottom corner, you see a 100% money back guarantee. You see, we understand that when it comes to online marketing, this isn't a get rich quick. It's not an overnight success. It takes time. Therefore, any attendees of this academy, we're going to give you a year, 365 days. If you feel that you didn't get the value, just request your money back and get a full refund, which means lunch was on us. That's ridiculous, absolutely. So right now, are the regular price of that event, it's $197. We're doing an early bird right now for $97. But for those of you that want the VIP experience, we have a VIP package. In the VIP program, basically, you get everything in the journal admission, but after the event, we're going to have a private round table dinner at a, at a steakhouse or a fine restaurant. It's going to include one hour strategy session with myself and my team uh, and some other bonus material. Early bird offer currently at $297. Dreams don't work unless you do. This isn't a process to where you can come to the class and everything's going to change. It's going to require work. After uh, this presentation, I'll be in back of the room. For those of you that would like to sign up or would like more information, you can see me in the back. And I look forward to seeing you then.